This is new in the box. Would you take five for this? Oh my gosh. How much are your books? Books are two dollars a piece and they're almost almost all of them are at least a hundred years old. They were my um my great cousins and they were uh professors at the University of Georgia. And that came from their bookcase many moons ago. I've sold most of them. Oh, really? Well, everybody likes them, and I do too. I have a ton of them still. She's she's been looking for old books today. That's like yeah. on her. That's on her list. And I like them on my. Sh I think they're prettier on your shelves. Than, yeah, they you know. are. And I finally had to just cut my losses. I had to get rid of some. I had too many. <laughs> yeah. This is a neat old book right here. I need to get out. He needs to come out of here. We got a nice little collection here. Listen. This stuff is neat. <laughs> I just like weird stuff. I'm just weird. And I can't help it. Look at that. Oh, it does. I don't know what that came off of. No telling. Maybe I'll think that was me. Right here. I don't know what it is. That is. That's me. But that is too cool. From I, I, I have. Those are nice. Yeah. I was gonna ask you about these. Are they? Are they, they were like. They were expensive. What is it? Are they old? Or they They're about thirty years old. Puzzle is adorable. Yes. yes. So we're gonna get the cards. These. Okay. That's ten. Yeah. And then. The earrings, Small, and then these earrings. Okay, one bag. Maybe. And then I'm also Maybe. gonna get that Waffle House thing. Oh. <laughs> so that was fourteen. another two. Okay. We've got some really great stuff. But... All right, there's fourteen. Thank you. Y'all have a great day. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You as well. I'm sorry.
Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. so much. At least you <laughs> fell on the stuffed Okay, it was a dollar. It's a large, yeah, large dollar. Five seventy-five. We'll just go six bucks. All right, um, and we're gonna get two cookies also. Okay. You, you, oh. you made me uh, change my mind. Yeah. So six fifty. All right. He sold two more cookies. Huh? It's called sold two more seven. Yay. There's two, okay. and then let me grab a five here. There we go. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alrighty, and all the proceeds are going to Julie's house. Awesome. You want to grab two? Sure. And I'll grab this? Okay. All right, thank you. I'm sorry, that's kind of... That's right. You should, the third one's free. Go ahead. Okay. Just with I can try to... I'm sorry. It's totally <laughs> I did not... They're all... It's getting hot out here. I'm okay. trying to get melted. <laughs> have a good day. Enjoy it. We brought a lot of stuff this weekend, guys, so we're just going to grab what we got in front of us and just start telling you about it. Okay. So this first um, thing is a enamel... Uh, set with a plate, a bowl, and a little mug. And the bowl actually has a lid with it. Um, and I paid $6 for it. And we're selling it for $35. I actually got that at eBay. <gasps> I actually got that at Goodwill. I bought five boxes of these um, Great Eagle LED light bulbs. There's six in each box. Um, I paid $3 a box, so $15 total, and we are selling them for $15 each, so $75. Okay, the next thing is this handheld Yahtzee game. Um, paid a dollar for it, and we are selling it for $39.99. We've got our Jim Shore 12 Days of Christmas ornaments with this little decorative box here. Pretty nice. Um, the box is a little beat up, got some scratches and stuff on it. And the bulbs are, they look good um, for the most part. <laughs> the bulbs. Bulbs, are that what they're not called? Christmas balls? What I call them, bulbs? Bulbs. <laughs> the Christmas ornaments look pretty good in there. Uh, there's 12 of them, they're hard to see, but uh, yeah, Blondie's actually really jealous. That I, I am these. jealous. Jim Shore is like, if you can get a good deal on it, that's a really good find. So yeah, there's 12 of these. He's actually from around like the area where we grew up. Okay. Oh, and... um, so we paid, sorry. <laughs> so uh, we paid $2 for these and we are listing them for 50. Okay, the next thing we got, um, it's a Soda Stream sparkling water maker. Um, I personally love, love, love plain sparkling water. That's my <laughs> drink of choice. <laughs> No flavoring, no sweetener, nothing. So I kind of thought in the back of my head, like I might keep this. I don't know why. It's pretty clean, but I just can't get past the fact that it's been used. But it does work. Um, did you press that? Oh no, you press this on the top. So you can hear it. That like releases the CO2 into your drink. It also came with another cartridge to go down in it. We don't know if it's empty or not. That's another problem. Um, we think it's empty, but you can change these out just like a propane tank and um, just pay for the price of the gas that goes in it. So we decided to sell it on Marketplace so we don't have to ship it. We don't have to worry about all of that. Um, and I listed it for 30 Okay, this next item is a projector. I barely remember picking this up. There was just a lot of stuff at this sale. She was selling it for really cheap, and I think I just got Grab Happy. Or something. I don't know. We paid two dollars for it. We think we could probably get thirty though. The next thing that um, I got was a snow globe. It is a Mickey Mouse Christmas snow globe. It says 2009. Real tiny, cute. Uh, I paid fifty cents, and it looks like they're going for about five dollars. And then I bought a another. This is also um, Cloisonne. It has that. Um, gold trim filled in with the paint. You can maybe see it. 
it's a Christmas bell. And I paid 75 cents and we listed it for 15. All right, next up we have these replica of the 1950 starlets and Glamour Girls playing cards, uh, 55 pinups. So there's 55 cards in here. Um, plus three or 52 cards plus three jokers uh this is a reproduction so unfortunately these are not authentic yeah they're really cool they're f g and company is the brand and there's one of the jokers but uh yeah so we paid three dollars for these i did not realize they were reproduction until um we got home and i was listing them so unfortunately they're not authentic but they're still actually, these are really hard to find. So uh, I was going to list them for $30. But what happened was when I was doing the listing, I made a mistake and actually started it out as an auction for 99 cents. And someone already bid on it, so I can't cancel it. We bought the this um, 2008 Waffle House Home for the Holidays with Santa drinking a uh, Coca-Cola. See my nasty fingernails? I bite them. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to stop. No, he's not. He says that, but he does nothing about it. There's the back of it. So, um, this was pretty cool. Paid $2 for it, and we've actually already sold this. We got an offer earlier today for $7.25 plus shipping. Uh, so, we accepted it. So, this is going out. we got to package this up soon. Okay, the next thing is this um, Disney uh, Mickey and Friends ornament. Um... I paid 50 cents for it and we listed it for $7.49. And then the next thing, it's another ornament. It is from, it was from Pier 1. It's um, an angel ornament and it is, what was that technique called? It was like Le Bien, I think. Len, yeah, Lean Basically bien. what they do is they um, paint it. They take their paintbrush and they paint it from the inside. So they take it in that little hole and like they have to do all of this Painting and artwork. Yeah. It's hand painted. It's called the Libyan. So I can't believe they're not worth oh. more. I don't know who's sitting there doing these, but anyway, um, like I said, I paid 50 cents and we are selling it for 10. Yep. All right. Next up, we have a Dumbo stuffed animal. He's about 11 or 12 inches. Um, looks brand new. He's not. He's pre owned, but there's no no marks or no. Uh, stains or anything on him. So that's a little tag. Um, we paid a dollar for him and we listed him for 15. Cool thing about this though, we bought a couple things um, for, at this sale. Uh, everything was, I guess, donated there and all benefits were going to um, Julie's house. It's a women's shelter for people yeah. like see like for domestic violence situations, I think. They were also selling cookies, so we bought some cookies and we were happy to Tim bought cookies. We're happy to contribute. And then Tim bought two cookies, but they were stuck together, so we ended up getting three. Yes. <gasps> um, Blondie and... picked the cookies that were stuck together. <laughs> but I didn't eat that. This next one is called Streamlink. It is for your PC gaming it, so that you can, like, take it from your computer. I don't play games, but anyway. Um, I watch gaming, but I don't play, so anyway, I'm doing my best. So yeah, it's like uh, play all your Steam games on your TV. So like if you have a Steam account and you play games, you kind of connect your um, PC to this. And I guess this sends a signal to your TV and you can just play your games on your TV. Yep. So I paid a dollar for that and they are, um, the company doesn't make those anymore, but they're in high demand. So I listed it for $70. All right, next up is a Disney six-sided block puzzle. It's not made right now, so I'm going to show you. <laughs> well, I was going to make you do the Rapunzel one because that one's hard. But, so, listen, listen. I'm making this listing, right? And I'm taking pictures. <laughs> when I make listings, I take pictures of everything, okay? Um, so, I was doing each of these puzzles 
taking pictures of Tim's them for over our here listing. doing these princess puzzles. And I have, like I'm listing other stuff. And every now and again, I'll hear him say, this is really hard. This is ridiculous. This is so okay. hard. Rapunzel is very hard puzzle on this, okay? <laughs> and then, so I get the last one done, right? I spent a while on that last one. I am, a, I am embarrassed to say how long. <laughs> there are 4, 8, 12. There's 16 pieces to this puzzle. And I spent a long time on Rapunzel. At least I think it was Rapunzel. So I, I get all of them done, right? Rapunzel's the last one. And Blondie, you know what she says? Why don't you just look on the back? I turn this thing over, and there's all the puzzles. So I could have just taken a picture of that to show people the completed versions of them. Exactly. I spent all that time doing Disney princess puzzles <laughs> and struggling. I'm I'm embarrassed. But, you know, I'm glad I did it because, like, this is very old. These pieces are old, so, like, they're, they're kind of beat up. So um, in our listing, you, you get to see every completed puzzle yeah so we paid a dollar for it and we have it listed for 10 10 this is a clock radio alarm and or what is that yeah it's vintage. a clock radio and it's vintage and it works great um the problem is it is dirty and it really like just looking at it it doesn't look that dirty but down in here, it is so dirty. And I even had a toothpick, Q-tips, paper towels. It was not. It is gross. I don't know. It was a quarter. That's why I bought it. And it was vintage. And I just thought, well, you know, it works. So I'll just clean it up. But we just, I just honestly, I could not spend any more time trying to clean this. So um, we're just selling it as is for like $10. But we paid a quarter. So <clears throat> the next thing that I got is a, um, I'm not going to, I don't know if I should undo the whole thing because you probably can't even see it. But it's a throw. It's a very large throw blanket. And it's a, it's the North Pole. That's the Christmas scene. It's the North Pole. Um, Apartment 56. Yeah. The thing about, and I don't know if all Goodwills are like this. I'm assuming they are. But... So this had like a yellow little tag on it and each day of the week a different color tag is half off. So especially for the blankets I have found every time I go the same blankets are there. Nobody's buying them. Um, so I just wait until they're half off. So I got that blanket for two dollars and it's selling for thirty five. Um, another item that I got at Goodwill this is something I didn't even know existed. These are uh, Carhartt flame resistant jeans. Okay, here they are. Um, and they are Carhartt. They have a tag. Okay, when I was there, I thought, oh great, these are new with tags. But what we have found out is that these were like at a rental company i guess people rent these i don't know yeah, and i think that tag is from the rental company not like because it's not a carhartt tag so i don't know if these are brand they look completely brand new it, li it literally says on one of the tags garment designed exclusively for rental so but that was a there's like five million tags on the inside there are. there's a lot because when tags. it's a flame resistant pant like it has all kinds of tests it has to pass and codes and anyway so didn't even know they existed but now i know about these um, so I've actually bought four pairs of these at $6 a piece. So I, I paid $24 total. Um, they're selling for $25 each. If you've ever been in the military and you've gotten like a brand new uniform, um, they smell just like a brand new uniform. <laughs> I guess it's whatever like chemical they treat uh, to make them fire resistant. But that's what that smell is. Or that's what they smell like. Next item is a pair of American Eagle super skinny stretch jeans or super stretch skinny jeans, size zero. Um, I, pay, I paid a dollar and we listed them for 15. All right, and then I found this really cool windbreaker, uh, vintage, 80s or 90s for sure. It is really cool and it's Italian. And it's Italian, it's Ser Ser Sergio Taccini. Mm -hmm. Sergio Taccini, I don't know how to say that. Um, it's in really good condition. There's just like a minor little uh, piece of fabric coming off like underneath the zipper, uh, which is actually, you know, it gets in the way sometimes of the zipper, but not too bad. Um, it's like an extra small in men's, but I think the, uh, the lady at the sale was like it was hers, I mm -hmm. think. But um, yeah, we bought this for a dollar and we are selling it for, how much are we selling it for? 30. We're selling it for 30. So 
This is a pretty neat item, I think. Okay, so next up we have these little shirts. Um, they are women's Ralph Lauren button downs. Um, they look about the same, but they're not. So um, this one is a size large, slim fit. Um, and let me tell you, they are very slim fitting. I had originally gotten these for myself, but they are like, I don't know. I kind of, I don't know. <laughs> They're just very like tight and I just did not like the way they fit me. So, um, yeah. So paid $2 for each of these and we're selling them for 20. The pink one is a size 10. So this one's a large, that one's a size 10. The sleeves on this one, the buttons are a little bit different than, than these. Okay, so um, this next one is um, a holiday wall tapestry. So sometimes I guess people, you know, will put these on their walls. Super cute, super, <gasps> uh-oh, I see a little see stain gonna... right here. Yep, that Y'all, I'm going to have to wash that. I thought it was a good condition, but sometimes in Goodwill, the lighting, I think, isn't great. But paid $3 for it, and we're selling it for $15. So hopefully we can get that stain out. The next item is another throw. Um, and we won't undo the whole thing, but it is um, really, really rare because we could not find it anywhere. Um, we looked forever, both of us. But... It looks kind of vintage, but we didn't say it was vintage because we don't know. Um, but it was um, $2. It was $2. So this was like one of our last listings of the night. And I think that Bill was getting like delirious. And he'd been looking for this forever. And he listed it for 100 I don't know if we'll get 100 for it. I listed it for what you told me to list it for. That is not the truth. Okay. I, I, you said just throw 80 on there. And see what happens. And then I said, I said no, because we couldn't find it. And then we found some that were like 120. But then I said no, just list it for 50. I don't know. We have that listed for 100. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so these are three button down shirts, men's. We paid $2 each for them. And they're basically all listed for 15 bucks. This one is a large, this one is a size 16, and this one is a medium. Alright guys, and then the last item that we bought was this uh, fitted New Era dollar sign hat. It is a uh, 7 and 1 quarter size. It's got the little, little scent sign on the back there. Um, inside looks pretty good. The only problem is, this isn't a problem, but that's the little tag. The only problem is the sticker has started to peel a little bit right there. But other than that, everything is good. And we paid a dollar, and we are listing it for, we didn't write this one down, it's listed for $19.99. Alright guys, and that's it for this video today. Let us know what, how you think we did in the comments down below. Also, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. And also, consider subscribing if you have not yet already. And remember guys, picking ain't easy.